For many people, Jew Park may be a relatively vague concept. We have many kinds of parks already, such as Forest Park, Cultural Park, Wetland Park, Sculpture Park, and so on, as well as many scenic spots with beautiful scenery. Why should we create a Jew Park? What's the difference between the Jew Park and other parks? The so-called Jew Park is a unique natural region possessing special geological scientific significance and composed of rare natural attributes. High aesthetic appreciation value. Geological relics landscape with certain scale and distribution range as the main body, and the integration of other natural landscape and cultural landscape. This definition of geopark may be. A little obscure for ordinary people to understand. However, if you listen to my following description, you will gradually understand what a geopark is. The geopark can be said to be an inevitable outcome of the development of geoscience to modern times. It is a new development trend after people's subversive cognition of the concept of Earth resources. In the past, the traditional concept of Earth resources only included natural range of useful minerals. In people's mind, only those metals. Non-metals and rare minerals that could be extracted from rocks and applied to the needs of human society, as well as oil, gas, and fresh water, etc., could be regarded as earth resources. However. With the development of society and the progress of science, geological landscape, which is often referred to as natural scenery, is now also regarded as an important earth resource because they are not only the precise solidification of a certain geological event in the earth's evolutionary history. The information they contain can guide people to have a correct and comprehensive understanding of the Earth we live on. Moreover, the guiding interpretation of natural scenery can stimulate people's appreciation and love of nature, and improve people's consciousness and enthusiasm. For the protection of Earth environment, therefore, Jew Park is a bridge that closely connects Jew science with the broad masses of people. In fact, Jew Park 
in the form of uh, the park is not so much of a park as an effective measure to protect the earth environment. Because among the three purposes of establishing two parks, the first and the most important one is to effectively protect non-renewable geological relics and the earth environment. Through the form of parks, the broad masses are guided to realize that geological relics are non-renewable precious resources. Therefore, we should protect them together so that this kind of attention and protection to the earth resources and natural environment can play a greater role. UNESCO attaches great importance to geoparks because the construction of geoparks is an excellent way to educate people to protect earth resources. Therefore, in the year 2000, a plan was put forward to select 500 geological relics landscapes that are most worthy of preservation around the world and to promote them as the world's Jew parks. China is the first country to actively support UNESCO's plan to build world Jew parks. According to President Xi's scientific judgment, that lucid waters and lush mountains are mountains of gold and silver. China has established a brand new concept of ecological civilization, which will serve as the theoretical basis for guiding China on the road to green development. Under the guidance of this ecological civilization, the construction of Jew parks is constantly moving toward a sound development road. So far, China has built 281 national Jew parks and 41 world Jew parks, or UNESCO Global Park, as it is called. China is the country with the largest number of geoparks in the world. The construction of geoparks not only effectively promotes the precious geological relic resources, provides various favorable conditions for the geoscience research, and creates a learning educational site for the masses to understand nature and earth resources, but also greatly promotes the sustainable development of local economy and the implementation of China's targeted poverty alleviation policy. It has rapidly changed the poverty situation in mountainous areas and remote areas and has indeed benefited the broad masses of people. Jew parks, this newly emerging thing, radiate strong fertility on the vast land of China. It has been fully integrated into the basic planning and construction of all provinces and regions and has become a huge boost to the implementation of green all-for-one tourism initiative. With its magical and beautiful geological relics landscape, the making of the Jew parks has enriched people's spiritual life and has made an inestimable contribution 
to the development of local economy. The construction of China's jewel parks has set an excellent example for the whole world. Jewel parks like bamboo shoots are thriving and blooming all over the land of China. It has rapidly changed the appearance of those remote, backward and poor areas and has injected strong vitality into the development of all for one tourism and the new type of study tour and research tourism as advocated by the state. Guided by the concept of sustainable development, Jew parks in their own selves are the development and utilization of precious geological relic resources to the greatest extent. It has gradually formed a powerful and new type of productivity and is making historic contributions to the prosperity of the country, as well as to the realization of the San Antonio Chinese dream. <laughs>